recently there's a new catchphrase. It says, fresh boys, fresh girls, move or crow. And with the energy, with the energy and excitement I see here, I can tell that hopefully students are fresh boys, fresh girls. And I can tell that Muo Krumpa. <laughs> but I'm always happy to be back here in the Afeti Auditorium. I must say that the energy and excitement and enthusiasm of the students of Hope Polytechnic never subsides, no matter how many times I visit your campus. In 2012, as was rightly captured by your rector, here in Ho on the Jubilee Park, during the launch of the NDC manifesto for the 2012 election, I announced that to strengthen the supply of skilled middle-level manpower and to resolve the controversy of the placement and academic progression, we would, in my first term of office, convert our polytechnics into technical universities. I said that during this first term of office, we will accelerate the development of infrastructure and faculty to ensure that the conversion occurs as soon as possible. I am therefore most pleased, and I wish to congratulate the whole Polytechnic for making it into the first batch of Polytechnics to be converted. Your rector calls it the big six. To be converted into technical universities which begin in September this year. Only last week, I gave executive approval for the Technical Universities Bill to be laid before Parliament. Also with us this afternoon is Mr. Paul Scott uh, Perkins, who is president of Amatrol Incorporated USA. I want to thank you for the quality equipment installed in our polytechnics, which will advance teaching and learning and lead to the production of quality graduates who will be ready for the world of work and also be capable of establishing their own small and medium enterprises. We have put in a lot of work to transform education over the last three years, and I'll be sharing with you a few thoughts on our progress and reaffirm my commitment to transform all 10 of our polytechnics into technical universities. I wish to assure the polytechnics that are not converted initially that we are coming up with a fast track program to improve their infrastructure and faculty to ensure that they are converted as soon as possible. The decision to convert polytechnics into technical universities was carefully thought through. Major considerations included the need to rebrand our technical education to deepen its relevance and give it the necessary support and attention for our country's development. Technical and vocational education provides enormous opportunities for countries and contributes greatly to uh, socioeconomic development. The transformation of our polytechnics, therefore, is not a mere assumption of a new name. We're not just changing the name of Ho Poly to Ho Technical University. It is a new culture and a character with a more purposeful and definitive direction. Yet another vision underpinning the, com underpinning the conversion is to emphasize a close engagement with, with the world of work without necessarily disengaging with the requisite academic orientation of higher educational institutions. What this means is that in all the courses you study, there must be a linkage with the world of work so that you can make a seamless transition from school into the world of work. We'll continue to remind technical university councils, faculties, and students that these new institutions are to have a special focus, and that is technical education, producing that badly needed technical manpower with an orientation to be entrepreneurial. To be entrepreneurial, to be able not only to be employed, but to have the entrepreneurship to set up your own small and medium enterprises. The, the technical universities must focus on their core competences and maintain a high proportion of science, technology, and vocational-based courses. Ghana's new technical universities must forge symbiotic relationships with industry by utilizing the resources of industry for innovation 
and technical, technological advancement of our country, Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, as emphasized on many occasions, the polytechnics that did not meet the criteria for conversion after the first round of assessment will be supported and assessed when they are ready for conversion. I welcome the excitement this policy intervention has generated in the technical and vocational fr education fraternity across our country. Ghanaians can remain assured that government will continue in our efforts to rebrand technical and vocational education to give it the important attention and support it deserves for the development of our nation. Government through the Ministry of Education and COTVET has in collaboration with Amatro designed technical working initiatives to offer technical learning systems in our soon to be technical universities. These will be in the areas of electronics, pumping systems, advanced manufacturing, solar and wind technology, automation and mechatronics, quality assurance and metrology, electrical and electronic and renewable energy systems. The Takradi and Kumasi Polytechnics benefited from phase one of the amateur installation. Ho, Koforidua, Tamale, and Cape Coast Polytechnics are covered under phase two of the project. Phase three, which will commence later this year, will comprise Wa, Bogatanga, Sunyani, and last but not the least, Accra Polytechnic. Today, I have come here personally to inaugurate the ultra-modern teaching and learning systems laboratory for the whole Polytechnic. It is the most recent and prestigious teaching and learning laboratory provided by my government. The Amatra Learning System is an integrated laboratory equipment that combines real, hands-on, practical training into an e-learning laboratory for the practical training of students. It provides training to industry on integrated technology concepts, technical learning systems, manufacturing prices, and others. Other infrastructure enhancements here at the whole Polytechnic include the long-delayed four-story Faculty of Arts and Design building. Before I came here, I was told about it. I have asked that work be speeded up and that facility be completed as soon as possible. There's also the construction of 23 bedroom units for staff, the construction of a residence for the rector, and also the recently inaugurated two-story Faculty of Business and Management Studies building. I have also noted the request for additional hostels in order that more of you students can live on campus. And so we're going to work with your uh, administration to ensure that we put up a big capacity hostel so that more of your students can live here on campus. We will continue to place emphasis on the provision of quality technical and vocational education training, TVET, as one of the key strategies for empowering the youth with relevant skills and competencies to take advantage of emerging jobs in various sectors of the economy. Initial work has begun for the construction of modern infrastructure for 10 technical institutes because we believe that these are going to be the feedstock of the technical universities. And they include the Pando Technical Institute and nine other institutes. May I use this opportunity to thank the rectors of all the 10 polytechnics and all key stakeholders in education for your immense contribution to the growth of polytechnic education. And so I wish to thank all of you for your presence and support, and may God continue to bless our homeland, Ghana. Thank you.